How you doing guys? You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brothers and this is the 2003 Honda CR250R project bike and we're swapping out the carburetor on this thing. What the freak is that? TMX? <laughs> Okay, I pulled the McCuny carburetor out of the trash because that's just a little bit of hyper hyperbole for you there, little theatrics. Um, this is obviously the 2003 Honda uh, CR250R project bike that we've been working on. Um, Scott and I started working on this bike back in in uh, October is when we is when we got it, October of 2017. And then Scott spent the spent the winter time in between um, family life and wrestling and all that stuff because he he helps coach wrestling. Um, to put this bike together and to redo the whole thing. You guys have probably seen a lot of that. And then we took it out to the desert uh, just a couple of weeks ago or, or last week and and Sam and Logan got to ride it. And although the although Scott had rebuilt this carburetor and and uh, gotten it, he got it running pretty well, it still, I just wasn't impressed with it. I wasn't impressed with the way it was running. And I know we could have spent some more time jetting this Mikuni TMX carburetor, but if there's one thing, if there was one, overall resounding thing that I saw in the comments and the messages and the emails that people were sending me about these bikes is they said this carburetor, people just said that this carburetor was junk. So instead instead of messing around with this, and a lot of people had changed it out with, with Kihan carburetors, the Kihan carburetors, I don't really even know how you pronounce that. I pronounce it Kihan or Kihan. Uh, but anyway, uh, this McCuny carburetor, this TMX was not something that people have, have been fond of. So what I did is I figured, you know what, why don't we reach out to Electron Fuel Systems and see if they want to donate a carburetor for this. So in full disclosure, I did not pay for this carburetor. Electron Fuel Systems donated this. I've worked with Electron in the past. I've bought a lot of carburetors from them and I've helped sell a lot of carburetors uh, with them. Those guys are really good guys. I know the, I know the owners over there um, and they've always been helpful in, in doing stuff. Well, I, I said, could we put could we get Electron for this Honda? And they said, absolutely. The Electron, uh, their, in their product line, they said that that's probably about one of the top three selling um, car or bikes that they put there, top three carburetors that they sell for these bikes. I don't know exactly how I'm trying to say that. Basically, it's popular. Uh, they probably do a lot of KTMs. That's probably the number one. I have no idea what the number two is, but they said these, these older Hondas, they get a ton of orders for those. So, um, Anyway, this is, hopefully this will focus back in here. This is, and I don't know if I'm too far in for the light, but this is what, the, what that old McCuny carburetor looks like. Um, and again, I'm sure it's totally fine if you know how to jet it. And we got it really, really close. Um, <clears throat> but there was kind of like a little bit of a, there was a little bit of a flat spot there that, that I didn't love. And Sam didn't really notice it. Logan didn't really notice it. But but Scott and I did, and I just wanted to get rid of it. So I put this Electron on last night, um, and I have to be dead honest with you, this was not the easiest, it was not the easiest install that I've ever done on Electron, and part of that is, maybe some of that is because of the, is the, the new plastic kit, but obviously I took the tank off so I'd have easy access down into here, I had to pull the side panels off, obviously take the seat off to get the tank off, I had to pull the side panels off, then I swung my sub front, excuse me, swung, swung the subframe up, which requires you to take off the uh, silencer on the other side. So, you know, I'm unhooking my, unhooking my kickstand and my silencer and the plastic and the seat and the tank. And even then, the way that this, the way that this aluminum frame is designed, there is not a lot of room. I could barely wiggle the carburetor, even with the airbox out of there, I could barely wiggle the carburetor out of the frame here. You can't come out the back because you've got the shock there. So it wasn't the easiest, uh, removal of the carburetor and then subsequent install of the Electron that I've ever done. I've done a lot of other bikes that were that were easier. It's easier to do this on, on some of the newer bikes, especially the KTMs, because there's just a little bit more room. Inside this frame here, uh, the, they've kind of squozen this in on, on the Honda, and, and it's a cool looking frame. I think they're awesome looking frames, um, these, these uh, aluminum uh, frames. 
but there's not a ton of working room in there. But I was able to kind of finagle it in and, and get it in. And then the other thing that you have to do on electrons most of the time is you have to have a little bit longer throttle cable. So you can, and they have the packages for you. If you call Electron, uh, look them up on electronfuelsystems.com, give them a call. They will tell you exactly what you need for your application. So they sent a new cable for me, a good cable. Um, so that means you've also got to take your throttle assembly apart uh, to put the new cable on. So it takes, and I've, I've, done, I've done other videos where I show how to install Electron on, and every bike is gonna be different. But <clears throat> I would say, if you've never done it before, plan on three hours uh, to, to get your, to, cause you're gonna have to figure out what parts you have to take off the bike to get the carburetor out. And then you've gotta put it back together. And by the time you, you know, set all your tools up and do it and then get your tools cleaned up, I would say three hours on your first time. If you've done it before, you can do it in probably two. I think I did it, I did it in an hour and a half or two hours last night and it was, there was a couple things that were fighting me. I think I can do it on the KTMs probably in about an hour. Uh, full disclosure, I don't put Lectron uh, carburetors on all my bikes and the reason why I don't is because I don't need to on all my bikes. Um, it, is, it is an expensive part. The Electron carburetor is fantastic, but you're gonna be in it between $450 and $500 by the time you get it shipped to you. And the great thing is it's gonna now run at any altitude. So I'm riding everywhere from you know 4,500 feet on up to like sometimes 10, 11,000 feet. And so that's a really, really great uh, reason to have Electron is because then it's not gonna need to be rejetted. On a lot of bikes, so on a lot of the KTMs, the jetting's a little bit more forgiving for me, and so I'm able to kind of jet a bike for a mean altitude of like 7,500 feet, and it runs really well everywhere where I want, and I don't have to rejet my two strokes. They're not as sensitive as, as you think. Some of these older bikes, I think, are a little bit more sensitive um, to the jetting, and so I figured we would put the Electron on this bike to give it the best possible shake, <laughs> and let me tell you, last night after I took this bike, uh, <laughs> after I put this bike back together, I've still got my, my ACL is, I'm still rehabbing that. I've got like nine more weeks to go on that. So I didn't, I didn't take the bike for a ride. I just took it out of the garage and I was just gonna take it up to the front and run up and down the street to make sure nothing was, make sure it was gonna run, make sure nothing was wrong. And let me tell you, <laughs> this sucker screams now. It gave, it gave the bike more low end and more mid range and then it cleans out up on top. And so I think this bike, and then, shh, don't, don't tell, don't tell my wife. But I went around the neighborhood and then I came up and I went out my neighborhood onto the dirt and I, I was very, I was, I was not being responsible because I didn't have my brace on. I didn't have a helmet on, I didn't have anything, but I was just planning on going up and down the street and making sure the carburetor ran. Well, I got out there and nature, the, the bike is calling to me and I get out onto, a, out onto a dirt road that's just out here outside my neighborhood and I go, bam, 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 bam. I just, I just pinned it and shifted through, I don't know, brought fourth gear, just wide open, just nah, 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 nah. You know, you guys know how it is. And this sucker screams. So I wasn't riding the bike, I was test driving a product, right? Because I'm not supposed to ride the bike. So that's what my doctor and my wife and everyone else tells me. Anyway, the bike runs phenomenal. Um, I know the gearing is gonna be an issue for when we get up and uh, get it up in the mountain single track and Tyler's gonna be the one to do some of those that initial testing. But now I know the bike runs like a screaming eagle and it has no, there is no excuse for whether or not this bike can do, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna test it. Now it might need to be geared down cause it's got motocross gearing. It might need a flywheel weight in order for it to do a little bit better on uh, in the single track and stuff, which is fine. We can add that stuff, but I just wanted to see, we just kind of wanted to see what the bike was gonna do and how it was gonna perform in its stock form, you know, as stock as possible, as far as just like motor being stock and gearing being stock and things of that nature. We just wanted to kind of see how it does. And so far, it's impressed. It's impressed us. And now with the Electron carburetor on there, I think it's going to be even that much more impressive. So thank you for Electron for uh, donating that towards the build. A lot of companies donated a lot of things, Rocky Mountain ATV, uh, you know, Tusk, Vertex, Polysport, uh, Pivot Works, Kometic Gaskets, um, All Balls Racing. So a lot of people donated a lot of stuff and I thank everybody for donating that. I also thank everyone for watching this. If you wanna support what we're doing here on Dirt Bike Channel, you can go over to Patreon. We have a Patreon page over there where you can support. If you want to win that 2019 KTM 300 XEW TPI, the one sitting right over there, 
next. If you're watching this video before September 30th, you still have a chance to win. I have hats and I have hoodies, maybe some left. I don't know if about the hats and the hoodies, but I do have t-shirts. I'm gonna be printing as many t-shirts as possible. All, for every $5 you spend on my website, it enters you in to win that KTM 300 XCW TPI, brand new 2019 bike. Uh, this bike, everyone's asking, are you gonna keep it long enough to ride it? Yes, I do want to keep it long enough so that I can put some time on it um, after November when I start riding again. And then I, I don't know, like mo most of the time, most of the time, all the time, I end up selling the bikes because uh, I can't keep them all. Um, so this bike will be going up for sale. I know that, I know that Scott, mm, Scott kind of wants to have first dibs on whether or not he wants, I don't know if he's going to want to buy it, but I know he, he would like to buy it. So we'll just see if this thing comes up, if it comes up on the open market, I'll let you guys know. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. That's a way to kind of see what's happening a little bit more in real time, uh, because I'll post some of the stuff up on there, uh, before it hits the main YouTube channel. So, uh, anyway, thanks guys for watching and we will catch you in the next video.